So you're with Team Rocket this time. Yep. And Stacy Jorgensen was in the corner of Shelby. And yes. this big rivalry finally culminated. What what was weigh-ins like? Because there was a lot of shit talk, like pages and pages and pages of shit talk on what you had said, a message board book called MMA.tv. What was weigh-ins like? To be honest, I kind of don't remember. Um, I just, I remember that at the time, like I, I used to walk around. It's, it's, there's a lot to do with the way you present yourself. Now you can sort of, I have a huge pro wrestling fan and that's okay. originally what I wanted to go into. So I know that a lot of it's about how you present yourself and then your character and shit like that. Um, I'm not for show. Like I'm not a showy person, but and then I carry myself in, in a particular way that I want people to perceive me as. So I dress, I would dress in like all black, like these black Adidas pants. And then I had this, this black, like tank top that was like fitted and shit and whatever. And a black bandana that I had on my head and then blackout sunglasses. And like, that's just how I rolled. Like, that's how you saw me. You never really saw me any other way unless you're like, we we're chill and you like came to my room or I came to your room or some shit like that. But that's just how I presented myself because I also was nervous as fuck and I didn't want to look at people in the eyes. So I would always wear sunglasses. So now you've got like some chatter on the internet between the two of you. Mm -hmm. It's finally coming to fruition. Did you think that she was going to go through with the fight or were you, because... In my opinion, like on paper, this looks like an easy layup for you. Do you think she was not aware of the depth and water that she was about to step into? Yes. Or okay, so she was she was coming off she was coming off a fight against Judy Neff. Okay. Judy motherfucking Neff was terrifying back in the day. Like she was the she was, tough. She was, she was yeah. like the pinnacle of you feared her. OK, so Shelby had just fought her. And so honestly, after fighting her, I'm thinking that there's that Shelby is looking at me like, yeah, OK, this fucking chick, whatever. I'm going to beat the ugly duckling and be awesome. That's honestly probably what she was thinking. And me just getting into the sport and like not being from a team that had done like that had a lot of MMA fighters like we did, but low level. Like, I didn't have any reason to think that, like, the fight wasn't going to happen or somebody was going to pull out. Like, that never occurred to me because I didn't have any experience with that. So I, that was never a fear. Like, I never knew about that until I started to get into the sport and I saw how shit worked. I was like, oh, huh, this is a shit show. Yeah, especially yeah. with women. I saw, something women. On the, I saw something on the internet that was interesting about this fight, and that was that... Uh, an old friend, Jamie Levine, tried to steal this fight? Yes, he did. Would you really? Repeat, would you repeat this story for us, please? Because my Yes, friend... I will. <laughs> I've been sitting on this one for 20 years. Mm -hmm. Almost. Mm -hmm. So we're going along and Shelby's talking her shit and the hype train is rolling. And um, we're, we're getting closer to the fight. I don't remember when exactly it was, but... I had already committed to hook and shoot. Like I, I was already locked in what I thought was. And so I guess she actually either she contacted me, he contacted me today, this did. Uh, and he wanted to put the fight on his show and he was going to give me 1500 bucks. That's Pretty fucking good, right? <laughs> so what, what did you get paid for the hook and shoot fight? I got three fifty to show and two fifty to win. That's that's probably yeah. So he tried to offer that's you fifteen hundred. That's big back then. That's huge. That's yeah. No, no, for sure. That's 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 a. I mean, it's your first real fight. That's, yeah. That's actually a decent payday. Yeah. I yeah. mean, and you know, you didn't have to pay for your own gas to get there. But Jamie offered double the money, more than double the win, the money for for that fight. That's very interesting to me. And, yep. and so, did Shelby try to contact you about swinging it over to that event as well? Yes. Yes, she did. Yep. What made you say no? I, I ain't about that. It's not how it's going to work. It's just that's not. I already committed to somebody, and I've been talking to Jeff, and I put a lot of like heart and soul into it, and mental shit into it. And I was fight, fucking fighting for hook and shoot. 
And like I had I had seen I don't know how, but I like like I <laughs> I don't, I should probably not say it this way. I stalk the shit out of people.